going on everyone? Welcome back to Empire Motor Club. Today I have a special announcement. Well, I have two announcements. First, I'm going to sell my dream car. This is the 600 LT project and I'm going to sell it. It's been an amazing build. I've had so much fun with it. I had set certain goals in life. No matter how challenging life is, you gotta set goals. That's how you know how far you can get in life. And I obtained my goals. I got my dream car and I couldn't have been happier. And you know, I, I've had amazing fun in this car for the past year. I think the last two months because of this new COVID outbreak in Taiwan, I've had a lot of time to myself. I've had a lot of time with my family and I've had a lot of time with the 600 LT. I've been driving it almost every day and the love I have for the 600 LT just wasn't the same as when I first got it. I think there's multiple factors in this, multiple, multiple reasons. And I will explain to you guys later on in this video. I'm at a point in life where I'm starting to let go of things that I love that I realize are a bit materialistic. And I've been realizing a lot of things about myself that I don't like per se. Um, I felt like I lost my way along this road. And there's nothing wrong with the 600 LT. It's just, I don't think I'm personally in love with the 600 LT anymore. I just looked at the mirror and looked at myself and I think I'm just not happy with everything. I mean, look at this badass car. Like, how are you not happy with this? But I guess money can't buy happiness. Maybe it can. Maybe money can buy happiness. Um, I thought I was happy for a year with this car. And I guess I'm just, I'm just at this weird crossroad, I guess. But yes. Back to the first part of this video, the 600 LT is up for sale. If you have any friends who have a 600 LT, if you want to sell it, you can talk to us and help us. We will help you to help all of you. This car and the features of the project are in the description below. This car is a modern air conditioner, 3.8 inch wheels, the next generation is Artura, a car car. Besides 600 LT, there are 765 LT. 汽油的以后 McLaren 都不会再做了。如果大家想收藏的话，赶快和我们联系。So I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna say, "Ha!、Ah, I knew it. He's gonna sell this."、Um, well, you know what? Car YouTubers, that's what they do. That's what I do. We go through cars very fast, and that's a part of this YouTube game. And I think. This is something that not a lot of people understand, and I want to tell you guys about this. When I started EMC YouTube, I did a lot of homework on other YouTubers, and they constantly switched cars. They bought a car, built a project, and then they sold it. That's because they need new content. I need new content. EMC needs new content, and it's a cycle. This cycle actually does burn a lot of money. So something that we do, so all of you can keep watching new content, new YouTube vlogs, and to keep everything fresh. I saw some comments from the last G Class YouTube when I wanted to sell the G Class. Some of you guys were talking smack about how oh I just want attention, how I just want the views, and it's always about buying a new car and selling a car. Well, to be honest with you guys, the last two years Ryan and I have been doing this for all of you. We could just enjoy our cars. Which is what I did before. Yeah, maybe I do like to buy and sell cars more often than the normal person, but that was my choice. Even before EMC, that was my choice because I love playing with cars. It was a lifestyle of mine, and it's kind of sad that I have to explain this to everyone because of all this negativity or something. I guess this is where you know my next message is rather important. I think I'm going to take a little break from EMC. I think a lot has been going on because of this COVID outbreak. I've had a lot of time to think. I've had a lot of time with just all my cars, all my projects. I guess it really is time for a change. 
the big thing that I kind of want to talk to you guys about is I'm kind of sick and tired of doing all these car builds that aren't for myself. I got stuck in this cycle of just craziness. Doing projects that I believed I was passionate about. Doing all these modifications and just building cars I thought was for me, but it wasn't. I thought this was my dream car. And when I got it, obviously, I was so ecstatic. I was so happy. I reached my goals in life and I felt like, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm doing everything I want in life and everything's great and it's only gonna get better. I, I learned a lot. I spent a lot of money and it, the, like, I guess it just wasn't what I really wanted. Like inside, like in my heart. This just wasn't, it just wasn't it. I guess everything that I was doing on EMC, it hasn't been fulfilling something. I feel like all of these dreams were just very materialistic. I felt a little bit fake, to be honest with you guys. I don't wanna sound cliche, but I didn't fulfill like all these spiritual things. I don't even know what you call it. It didn't fulfill me. It fulfilled everything on the outside. Getting approval from everyone watching EMC. I think it was just doing stuff for YouTube, doing stuff for the gram, doing stuff for social media. It wasn't really about what I wanted. And obviously, you know, we have cars that are for the family. Um, for Dizzy and I, for Katia. For these special and fun projects, it's supposed to light up your heart. It's supposed to light you up inside. It's supposed to make you smile and tingle. And when you sit in it, you're supposed to be like, wow, this is it. You know, this is what I dream about. This is what I'm really, really, truly passionate about. And I think with EMC, I've gone away from that. I think I've just been doing things because I... I EMC, you guys are the best. Just here. And you guys heard that. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I'm doing it for him. I'm doing it for, for you guys. Um, and I love it, don't get me wrong, I love it. Uh, this is what it's about, to get feedback like that. It, it means we're doing something right. And I am truly happy, like, like that put a smile on my face. It, through this mask, I have a huge grin from ear to ear, and that is what I want. But I, I have to admit, I can't keep up with it or something. I'm getting tired. Um, I think my candle has burned out. I think I just need to take a break from EMC. Um, so yeah, I guess this is just a message for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a break from EMC, but don't worry, I'm sure I'm gonna be back, you know, and we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Dizzy and I and Ryan, will figure it out. We'll figure out what to do next. But don't worry, you know, EMC, we're not going anywhere. You know, we're not in financial trouble. If you guys are, you know, trying to take wild guesses, I am not in financial trouble. We are doing fine. Obviously, we could always do better. It's been an amazing ride so far. Uh, we're closing in on two years for EMC YouTube. And I think I'm gonna take the next, you know, a couple weeks just to really find myself again with cars, especially cars. So bear with me, guys. Please, I still want all of your support. The future is bright for EMC, I know it. We have reached so many regions and countries and different places all around the world so far. And I'm not gonna stop here. I'm definitely not gonna stop here just because I can't figure shit out for myself right now. Just give me a little time. So I will see you guys very, very soon. Keep watching us. We will still have Empire Watch Club. 
that we will still continue pumping out videos and vlogs so keep supporting us much love we'll see you guys on the next empire motor club peace